Let me be honest with y'all for a moment. Being a YouTuber is not easy. Being a YouTuber is not an easy task to do. Many people want to quit their regular job to become YouTubers, entertainers, all this stuff. But nobody knows what goes on in the back end and nobody's gonna explain it to you. So I'll do just that in this video. When you a YouTuber, everything you do, every single thing you do is no longer private. I know many people might think I'm exaggerating right off the bat. Nothing you do is for you anymore. When you're making a video, you will fa fall under one of two categories. I need to crank up my personality or crank up my type of content so I could capitalize on my next, on my previous video. Or two, you'll release a video that you think is lackluster compared to your previous work. You will, it's no in between. There is no in between at all. Recently, I was doing a video and I was thinking to myself, should I, should I keep continuing to be louder and more energetic or should I just mellow out for a moment? I'm between, in this situation, you're between a rock and a hard place. You will always be in a constant battle between yourself. And this is what, this is what they will not teach you in any form of education. This is just something that you're just going to have to go through as a YouTuber, as an entertainer. Top your neck, top your previous moment or be yourself. There's no in between, right? I wanted to do this because a lot of people don't know that this shit is a second job. This is not clock in, clock out. This is not learn something. This is something that you just naturally have to be good at. And 80, I don't want to throw out random percentages, but a lot of people, this is not cut out for them, man. Some people, it's just not going to work because it's a lot of pressure. It's so much pressure. Even if you even if you're just starting off and you're just doing it for fun. It's a lot of pressure because you have expe you have expectations that need to be met. You um, like everything everything you do has to revolve around the fact that people are watching you and going to you for their entertainment. That's a lot of pressure. So if you make a video that doesn't meet people's expectations, it's it's almost like you wasting their time pretty much. You wasted they they afternoon. They got off work. They want to see they want to see entertainment. They don't give a fuck about how you feeling. They don't give a fuck about none of that. People want to laugh. People want to all this. People want entertainment. On oh God, they that's all they want. That's a big reason why I stopped doing motivational. Uh, inspirational type of video my nigga we just want to have fun period we just want to have fun we're done we're done trying to be motivated motivated for what we want to laugh we want to party we want we, we want to do all this even even i'm guilty of this i remember all these youtubers i used to watch fine to cut steph is cold all all these motivational inspirational red pill all these people i i stopped watching them what's the point i want entertainment i'm done with that phase of self-improvement i'm i'm self-improved enough i want to laugh the main people i go back to the entertainment people those are the main people who get my watch time nowadays Sports. That's what I come back to. 
and that's on God. But to wrap up this video, it's a lot of pressure being a YouTuber. Everything you do is at the hands of other people. You can't do something for yourself. You think you could just take time off? Hell nah, bro. People respect consistency. You need to do that shit on a consistent basis. That's on God, bro. That's on game. My next video, stay tuned. My next video is gonna throw y'all for a curveball. I don't think I used that word correctly, but let's pretend I did for the time being. The next video is gonna be very interesting. But for for now, y'all, I'm excited. I'm excited. But goodbye. Thank you.